Hi, brother. How you doing? Love the name Royal White. This is our menu. All right, so let's see. Look at the prices. Look at your double E. Two for two pound. One fifty if you get one. So I'm definitely gonna have to get a double E. Samosas. You got three, four types. Punjabi samosa, Gujarati samosa, soya samosa, paneer samosa. So that means I have to come back here four times. I'm gonna have to get the Gujarati samosa. I can't believe the prices. Are these prices for sitting down or takeaway? Uh, no, these are takeaway prices. Right. So how much is your Gujarati samosa when you? So they'll be fifty pence. That's still a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> Gujarati samosa for eating, 50 pence. Yeah. Double E for 150. How much do I owe you? Two pounds. Incredible. Yeah. Two pounds? Yeah. Are they tiny portions or something? No, they're big portions. Yeah. Samosa, Gujarati samosa, plain flour, plain flour roti, and uh, mixed with potato and masala, mm -hmm. roti machine. Oh, you made the roti yeah, on roti the machine? Yeah. I want one of those machines at home. <laughs> so my wife no. doesn't have to. <laughs> no, <also. laughs> That's it. Bit too kind. Nah, bit too kind. Okay. And so, ne pelus stick to our top one. Yeah. Okay.
what are you going to make now? That belly. So what's the two types of chutneys you're using? Red chutney is a hot chutney or? No, no, sweet. Oh, it's a sweet chutney? Yes. Yeah, red capsicum and tomato chutney. And the green chutney? Medium spice. Okay. Ah, sweet. So it's topped with peanuts, spicy peanuts. Yeah. Red onion. Yeah. And then so. Thank you very much, brother. Costis Dalvara. 
Dal wala? Yeah. Thank you. See, this is very nice. These yeah. are hot as well. You just made them. I'm not banana. Ah, I'm not banana. Thank you. Thank you. Got the dabbly, freshly made. Let's have a quick look at the filling. Gujarati samosa, freshly fried, still really warm. With a very delicious looking filling. See the peas in there, you see a little bit of the carrot, you can see the onions, mashed potato, some sweet corn. It's fully loaded. The dalwada. Gonna start with the samosa. Can take another bite because samosas, when they're freshly made, they're just divine. The samosa is absolutely spot on. So first of all, as soon as you bite into the samosa, because it's freshly fried, freshly made, you've got the crispness of the pastry. Quite a flaky pastry, a wheat flour and made of pastry, I'm guessing that. And when you get into the actual filling, taste-wise, you get a little bit of sweetness and sourness. They've used a garam masala, they've used turmeric, which gives a color as well. It's got slight sweetness, got some slight sourness or tanginess. Maybe they've used lemon or tamarind. The filling has been perfectly cooked. And this is how I like a samosa. The potato should be mashed and it has been mashed. It's perfectly cooked, perfectly spiced with a subtle blend of spices. Most of the fillings are soft, but then you've got the crunch of the onions which haven't been cooked down that adds an additional crunch once you get into the actual samosa it's got a great balance of flavors i don't think they've used garlic or ginger in there have a little taste of the chutney by itself so the brown tamarind chutney and the green chutney it's got a mix of sweetness sourness tanginess got some coriander as well in there First couple of bites, first couple of tastes, and the amount of flavor that hits your mouth, absolutely amazing. First, you've got the softness of the bun or the pao. So once you get to the filling, you've got different textures. You've got the softness of the mashed potato spice filling. And then you've got the crunch from the red onions, the peanuts, the spicy peanuts, crunch from the cell as well. A little bit different to a kachi debeli. Kachi debeli usually has a bit more stronger spicing. This is lightly spiced, but still got flavor. You can see it's a lot lighter than other debelis I've had before. And then you've got some chili heat, some sweetness, but it's not overpowering chili here. It's a superb balance of spices, a superb balance of textures. Put simply, it's just very, very tasty. So I have to say the dalwada, it certainly is very tasty. As soon as you bite into it, it's got the crunch because it's been freshly fried, crispy, crunchy, and then inside it's really soft. You can see an intricate blend of spices, coriander, you can see some black pepper, a hint of chili heat, a genuine delight to eat when it's freshly made. So I've had a little taste of everything, the dabeli, samosa, and the dalwada. It's a little taste of India in every bite. It did indeed taste very, very special. When I'm back in Leicester, I'm yeah. definitely going to come back to these guys again. Jyoti Ben, Bhavna Ben, Meena Ben. Jasi Krasna. Priyang Bhai. Thank you. Krasna. Apre Pasa Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Thank you.